Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I'm excited this video because it includes some really really cool footage. Now at the end of my last video which was the one targeting perch on the last day of the river season I said this. So guys I've just had a phone call from my girlfriend telling me that my brand spanking new extra heavy law fishing setup has arrived. So I'm going to rush off home now grab the heavy setup grab the biggest laws that I've got hit the river for the last couple of hours of the river season and hopefully pull out a big big pike and I did just that. I rushed off home, I grabbed the heavy setup, grabbed the biggest laws that I could find, which are these ULM laws gigabytes, um, and I hit the river just for the last hour, maybe 45 minutes of the river season, just to try and get one big fish to end it, and I did, and I probably caught one of the most exciting captures of this past river season but you'll have to wait to the end of this video to see that footage but for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to lead on from that session and i'm going to do the exact same thing but on the canal so i'm going to use these great big 180 gram 25 centimeter swim baits along with my brand spanking new heavy setup on the canal in the hope of trying to catch some big fish go big or go home it's the time of year when they're going to be spawning soon um, and they're going to be wanting a big meal these big bigger baits are worth so much to these pike this time of year when they need the energy for spawning. So that's what we're doing today, targeting some big pre-spawn pike and hopefully we'll get one or two. And don't forget to stick around to the end of this video to see one of the highlights of the year. fish on <laughs> 25 centimeter bait and it doesn't feel like a big fish it only feels like a baby <laughs> it's not too bad for the canal i have to say and they're wanting a big bait though this time of year big meal is worth so much to them we'll just hand line this one we'll not bother getting the net on it ah, there we have it beautiful pike really nicely hooked one on the outside, one in the inside. Makes life easier, doesn't it? It's only a small fish. There we go. I'll actually put this one in the net and we'll take a close look at this one. Well, it's not a monster from the deep, but actually, from the local canal, that is a decent sized pike. Now, obviously, not going to weigh it or measure it, but it's probably a fish of about six pound and probably about maybe pushing 80 centimetre, maybe about 78, 77. A really nice fish, smash that bait. Big baits do equal big fish. This one isn't quite as big as the ones that I'm after or hoping for today, but definitely a good start. And it absolutely smashed it as well. He's tensing up, I think he wants to go back. Let's check his mouth there for hooks or traces. I know that with all the fish on the canal, or all the fish in general really, uh, just to make sure, and then we release. Miss that one. That's a good pike. Oh, it's not bad. Got it. Oh, right at my feet. What a cool take. It looks so much bigger at a distance because it's fat belly. As it's got closer, it did get smaller. 
It's one single hook right at the back. It's a shame you guys wouldn't have been able to see that on the GoPro. It's got a trailing hook, so if we lose it, we lose it. I'm not going to net it and get that wrapped up in the net. So, I mean, if we'd have netted that, that second hook would have been wrapped up in the net and it probably would have tore all this section. Often when you find fish with torn mouths, I don't think it's due to angling a particular error, like on purpose. I think it's when people have netted fish and the second hook's got wrapped up. And that's actually another decent one. Big baits do equal decent fish. There's another fish of probably about five or six pounds, which for the canal is a decent size. Real chunky. So when I'm out fishing on the canal with my heavy setup, I'm expecting lots of two and three pounders. And anything above sort of five pound is actually classed as, well, I would class as a good fish for the canal. And once again, I think I've just got myself another sort of fish in that target bracket. This is yet another pike of probably about five pound. Bigger baits do equal bigger fish. I think if I was using a 20 centimeter bait, I don't think I'd be catching these chunkier fish. They're real, real nice, real healthy at the minute, and so much fun to catch. That one chased it right up to my feet and took it right in the edge. That's exactly what we like, so cool. sat on the bottom just drag it come on drag him it's gonna take it got it yep <laughs> <laughs> not a big fish but it's so cool when they do that when you're just gently twitching that bait on the bottom oh gotta be careful look he's wrapped himself up be really careful there there we go when, the, uh, when you twitch it on the bottom, really, really gently and swim over and smash it. Now that is definitely not the sort of size pike we're after today. You crush that bait, and that's a pike of probably around about three, two and a half to three pound. Right, let's chuck this one back straight away. Nice and easy. See you later, buddy. They all count today, but while we're after biggins, let's get searching. What a hit. <laughs> Doesn't feel very big. Oh, he's under a snag. He's going to a tree branch. He's going to come off. Is he going to stay on? Oh, he stayed on. Oh, he's come off. <laughs> Jinxed it then, dinner. That's a swell look. Now, I've had two big hits. The first one was a real big hit. Definitely a double figure fish. Second one, it could have been the same fish. I don't know. All I do know is I am missing one of the points off the back hook of this bait. Now, that actually snapped off uh, while I was playing one of the little jack pike. Uh, it went up, like got caught up in some branches. I think it twisted and snapped the hook while it was in the branches. And I've missed two big hits. And I think I'm just an idiot. I should have changed that. Um, but what I'm also going to do is change the bait. I'm going to go over a different pattern bait and hopefully that might sneak out or sneak a hit from one of those pugs that I've just missed twice. Come on. Give me another chance. There we go, fish on. Yes, it's not a bad one either. Good job I changed that hook, changed the bait, and that's the first cast. Not a monster, proper gnarly looking one. Blinding one eye by the looks of it. Pull away, it came back. This one's been through the wars. It's got something down its throat. 
I wonder what that is. It's another pike, I think. I can't tell. I might have to have a look at that. Anyway, this pike proper nailed it. He's so fat. It looks like feathers, or it could be a pike's tail, but proper nailed that. And even though he's blind in one eye, it's not affecting its feeding. Look at the size of its belly. I don't know what that is in there. Huh. Now this fish looks like it's sustained some kind of injury from an attack maybe. You can see a wound on its side just and it's blind in one eye. But that's not stopped it from feeding. Look at the size of the gut on it. Huge gut. And it's actually got a smaller jack pike down inside its stomach. I've just gone and taken a look. It is 100% a jack pike. So it's not stopping this fish from hunting. It's doing quite well. And that is really, really nice to see. And what we'll do is we'll very quickly get this one put back. Let's put this one down in the water. Guys, I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. It's time for me to show you that footage from right at the end of the river season. But before we do, I'm just going to quickly recap on this session. The aim of the game was to come out using these 25 centimeter baits, big old baits, um, the ULM Laws Gigabyte. They really, really gashed up from today's session. Had about maybe seven or eight hits and landed like, what, four or five pike, including some real, real chunky ones. Go big or go home does catch you a slightly bigger average, I think on any waterway this time of year. And now it's time for the footage from the end of the river season. Hope you enjoy. I'm in a rush, I'm in a rush. I'm in a very, very, very much of a rush. Let's go for this giant, massive bait. Big hooks for a big bait. Let's get this screw down. Let's catch a big one, let's catch a monster. Big pike, last chance of the river season. Oh my god, oh my god, that's a good fish. I don't think it's as big as I thought it was when it first hit it, but it's so strong, I don't know it. Oh, I'm shaking, it could be a big one. Oh, it looks, oh, it's good. It's not huge, but it's a good fish. Oh, come on. Oh, it's through my bait, it's through my bait. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh, no, that's a big fish. That's a 20. That's a 20 all day. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Just gonna get the hooks out in the net. I'm shaking. That's friggin' huge. Guys, I can't believe it. Probably the last fish of the river season. Biggest ever river fish I've ever caught. And the second biggest ever pike that I've ever had. This fat mama is 21 and a half pound. 21 pound eight ounce. Look at the size of this pig. Smash that bait, 25 centimeter. ULM Laws Gigabyte. Big baits equal big fish. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely crushed it right in front of me as well. I knew it was a good fish. Oh, I didn't know it was this big. Absolutely amazing. Last fish of the river season. All right, let's get it back. Big mama. Guys, I genuinely cannot believe what's just happened. Um, I thought for sure I'd regret abandoning my perch fishing session. It was going so well, um, but obviously my rod arrived, my brand new heavy rod, and I thought, can we end this river session with a bang? 
got just 45 minutes to an hour of fishing let's try and get one big fish on my new heavy setup the w4 westin power shad um fishing with those giant baits if you want to check them out i'll leave them down in the description below and as i was bringing it in then down the margin just 15 minutes after i started fishing with these big baits right in the edge bang a 20 and a half pound pike not only the biggest river fish i've ever caught but the biggest river pike i've ever caught and the biggest fish i've ever caught on laws as well because all my over 20s that i've caught i've caught two or three have all been on dead baits so what a phenomenal end to the river season i hope you've enjoyed watching this video this is probably at the end of like a canal fishing video or a forgotten pond video or something um, because obviously I can't really film the rest of the video it's the end of the river season I've got to go home so thank you guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed subscribe if you want to like the video if you liked it go to the description to check out those baits I've used today and I'll catch you guys later